the challenges that we face are, are really what we face all over our district. Uh, our students are coming to us behind grade level. Uh, they might have had bad experiences with math, might have been told that they're not great at math, or they might think they're not great at math uh, because they haven't understood a concept uh, previously. Uh, so what we try to do is help them get up, get on grade level. Uh, and we do that in various ways here. Uh, we do a lot of small group instruction. We do a lot of work with our RTI, response to intervention. And I know for my students, a lot of times math, they say math is their worst subject because that's just something they've been told or something. My parents weren't good at math. A lot of times they feel like it's something that uh, it's just going to continue a cycle that math is just not going to be it for them. So then when they see this, uh, this moment in math where they can be successful, they can achieve something, then it uh, changes their attitude about math as a whole. And so coming into the classroom, uh, now they have a better attitude um, and feel more confident in their ability to grasp the concepts. So if I have a kid that I can right away tell is really behind, um, I make a point of like building a relationship with them right away. Like maybe that first day they come in and I can tell they're behind, but I'm gonna um, like help them, like say, okay, let's get this done and let's just get some sort of success so that they're feeling like, hey, I can do this. This, this teacher can teach me. He's very, he, he very anxious about math. Like he, wants you to, he wants you to be very successful in math and he wants you to learn. In my everyday life, like I have to have this, like when I go open a bank account, I gotta know, you know, how much I gotta have in my bank account before I can even withdraw from my bank account. Like everyday life, it'll hit me in everyday life. We work with a lot of low income students, um, but I'd like to let them know that uh, your intelligence is not determined by uh, the factors that are affecting you at home. Like you can beat uh, those odds. So uh, a lot of times that means comparing, you know, what, what's happening here at Melrose to what's happening somewhere else in the city. Uh, so they can see those comparisons and then uh, that gives them a sense of motivation as far as competition, you know. Oh, we're about the same or we're a little lower here, but I know we can work up uh, to where everybody else is. That's the biggest win for me is when I can see a student um, who's been struggling and they get it because especially with the students that I have who um, struggle a lot, um, when they finally get it, the reward is even sweeter because they are, have years and years of frustration in math where they feel like, I'm not smart enough to get this. Um, but if they're the one that can start understanding it, um, that's also when I see them like, light up and then they're enjoying math and like, I'll keep doing this because I know how to do it.